Hello and welcome to Brainy Gardener. Today it is all about how to grow and care for the rose pincushion cactus. The rose pincushion cactus is a small cactus endemic to Mexico. It is a very rare species only occurring naturally in a small canyon in San Miguel de Olende, central Mexico. This cactus is among the most attractive and desirable plants in cultivation. It has a clustering habit, making propagation easy. It has a tight gray-green ball with long spines that are white at their tips. The green of the body is heavily dotted with prominent areolas sprouting clusters of spines. The flowers are small to very showy. They appear on short stems and have pink to purple petals, rarely white. The flowers appear randomly throughout the year. This little cactus has a big personality. The bright pink blooms that encircle its spiny green body cement it as a must-have plant for cactus lovers. It is a popular choice for gardens and makes excellent additions to succulent displays. The pincushion cactus is a sun-loving plant that does best in full sun to part shade. It tolerates some shade, but it will bloom less in shadier locations. When comparing specimens, it's apparent that some are browner than others. This indicates that the cactus has been getting a healthy amount of light, and the blooms that follow will be vigorous. Place the container somewhere it will receive at least four to six hours of sunlight per day. In the hottest months, it will appreciate some afternoon shade. This cactus is very drought tolerant and can go long periods without water. When you do water, make sure to use room temperature water and allow the soil to dry out completely before watering again. Overwatering is the number one cause of death for this plant, so be careful not to give it too much. In the winter, reduce watering cadence even further. It is dormant in the winter and doesn't need much water at all. This cactus is quite tolerant of a wide range of temperatures. It can withstand below freezing temperatures, as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit, but it will only do so if kept completely dry. Optimal temperatures in winter range from 40 to 4 to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. However, most gardeners keep it above 50 degrees just to be safe. If you experience harsh winters, it's best to bring the plant indoors or place it in a shady spot outdoors to protect it from the cold. Rose pincushion cactus doesn't have any specific humidity requirements but prefers dry air. Especially in the cold, when temperatures drop below freezing, a dry cactus is a happy cactus. This plant is a light feeder and doesn't need much fertilizer. Apply a diluted cactus fertilizer once or twice during the growing season from spring to summer. Less than half strength fertilizer is recommended. The rose pincushion cactus is easy to propagate from offsets. To do so, carefully remove an offset from the main plant. Allow the cut to callus over for a few days and then pot in well-draining cactus soil, water sparingly until roots have had a chance to develop. Keep the soil barely moist and place it in bright indirect light. Once offsets have taken root, transplant them into their pots. It can also be propagated from seeds, although this method takes longer and the seedlings are delicate. First, sow the seeds on top of a cactus or a succulent mix and keep them moist until they germinate. Keep temperatures between 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit to provide optimal conditions for the seeds to germinate. Once they've sprouted, be sure to give them plenty of light, but don't overwater. Pincushion cactus can be repotted at any time of year, but the best time to do so is in the spring before it starts actively growing. This cactus doesn't grow too large, so that it can stay in the same pot for many years. When it eventually outgrows its pot, pick a shallow pot for potting. Use a well-draining cactus or a succulent potting mix, and be sure the container has drainage holes. To repot, gently remove the plant from its current pot and lightly brush away any loose soil. Inspect the roots and if they're crowded, tease them apart before transplanting them into a new pot. Add fresh potting mix to the new pot and water lightly. Allow the soil to dry out completely before watering again. Pincushion cactus is not toxic to humans or animals. However, as with most cacti, the spines can be quite sharp so use caution when handling this plant. Mealybugs are the only real concern for these cacti. If you see these bugs on your plant, use insecticides to get rid of them.